A report in the Russian newspaper Rossiskaya Gazeta highlighted news of an attack carried out by a Turkish drone against the Khalifa Hafar militias in Libya without receiving orders from humans, in a historical precedent. The newspaper stated that the Kargu 2, a Turkish-made bomber hovering in Libyan airspace, targeted a fighter without receiving an order to do so from his operator. According to Arti, the British newspaper, The New Scientist, reported that the drone was used against the enemy's manpower in March 2020 in the Libyan region of Tripoli, where violent battles took place, and that the drone, equipped with lethal weapons, chased the target independently without receiving orders from its operator. The report indicated that in 2019, Turkey began production of the 15kg Kargu-2 quadrotor drone. It can stay in the air for 30 minutes and is controlled through closed digital communication channels. The drone's software allows it to patrol certain areas, and it also allows it to detect and hit various targets. The drone is able to take off and land automatically at a location determined by the operator, who can cancel a raid that the drone wants to launch or redirect it to another target. It can carry shrapnel and thermal and hollow munitions. The newspaper also quoted the Russian expert in the field of unmanned systems, Denis Fedodinov, commenting on what happened in Libya, by saying, This is considered a new stage, where for the first time a person was entrusted with the task of making a decision to kill another human being. He pointed out that previously automatic systems were not able every time to identify the targets with the required accuracy. Humans had to correct the errors of the drones. He continued, there is a moral side to the problem, where Drawn had the opportunity to kill a human being, even if he was an enemy. This was impossible earlier. As he put it. Last year, the United Nations recorded the first likely case of autonomous drones launching an attack on people independently, in an incident that occurred during military operations in Libya. The United Nations Security Council group of experts on Libya stated in a report issued in March 2021 and reported by New Scientist magazine that the incident occurred in March 2020 during clashes between the Turkish-backed Libyan government of National Accord forces and Haftar's militias. The Kargu-2 model carried out an attack on a group of elements of the so-called Libyan National Army led by Haftar during the retreat of his forces from the vicinity of the capital, Tripoli. He pointed out that the fighters in Haftar's forces were not trained or encouraged to defend against the attacks carried out by such drones during their random retreat. The drones, according to the report, were programmed to attack targets without the need to transfer communication data between the operating party and the weapon. The report emphasized that combat drones and lethal autonomous weapon systems attacked these fighters without any human intervention. Confirmation of this information may mean recording the first case of autonomous combat devices acting in an independent manner to attack people. And Kargu-2 is a Turkish suicidal drone equipped with explosives and may be directed by humans or through the use of onboard cameras and artificial intelligence to search for goals in a subjective manner. The UN report did not specify whether the attack led to the killing of these targeted fighters, but it pointed out that the operations of the aforementioned drones might result in significant losses. Earlier, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said that the successes achieved by the Turkish drones in the field had led to results that will force a reformulation of war strategies in the world. Turkey is one of the best three to four countries around the world in manufacturing drones, according to a previous statement by President Erdogan. The American newspaper The Wall Street Journal published a report entitled, Turkish's low-cost armed drones are redrawing conflict and geopolitical areas. The newspaper said that Turkish low-cost armed drones participated in the wars in Syria, Libya and Azerbaijan as a game-changer. Small armies all over the world are turning to cheap means of offensive against their highly equipped enemies. This new war tactic, drones, which proved successful in regional conflicts last year, changed the strategic balance around Turkey and Russia, the Anadolu agency reported. 
She noted that low-cost digital technology produced in Turkey has destroyed tanks, armored vehicles and other defense systems in Russia-sponsored wars in Syria, Libya, and Azerbaijan. It added that low-cost armed drones are as effective as high-tech and expensive combat vehicles. Warships are expensive, and she added, armed drones can fly for 24 hours, find loopholes in air defense systems, help warplanes hit targets and launch missiles themselves. She pointed out that Israel and the United States were pioneers in the previously armed drone sector, adding, technological developments and global competitors have produced inexpensive alternatives. The Turkish Bayraktar TB2 march is the latest example of these marches. The American newspaper mentioned that Qatar and Ukraine are among the customers of the Baykar company, which was founded in 1984, and that Poland, a member of NATO, last month expressed its desire to buy 24 unmanned aircraft TP2, already happened, in addition to the interest of other members of NATO and African countries in acquiring these Turkish drones. She added that the success of the drones helped Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan increase his regional influence without risking large numbers of soldiers or expensive equipment. She pointed out that the TB2 rallies came as a result of Turkey's dissatisfaction with the current American and Israeli models and its desire to combat the PKK organization terrorism through the regimes it controls. She stressed that the Turkish TB2 marches aroused interest on the international scene last year during Operation Spring Shield and struck the Syrian regime's targets in Idlib governorate, adding that last spring, the TB2 marches turned the scales for the internationally backed government in Tripoli during the Libyan war. She indicated that Turkey sent weapons to the Libyan government in 2019, and increased its military support for it, thus removing Haftar's forces from Tripoli in June 2020. She also confirmed that the Turkish offensive marches proved their worth in Azerbaijan's victory over Armenia in the Karabakh War and that the Azerbaijani Ministry of Defense published on social media scenes of Turkish marches bombing Armenian targets in the region. She added that after about six weeks of clashes between Azerbaijan and Armenia, the Kremlin mediated close to the two governments, to announce a truce between them last November, which resulted in Azerbaijan regaining most of the lands it lost about 20 years ago. Baker is a Turkish company that has been operating in the field of defense and aviation in Turkey since 1984, and is one of the few manufacturers of unmanned aircraft in the world. The Bayraktar TB2 aircraft is currently used by the Army, Border Guards, Security and Intelligence Services in Turkey, in addition to being used in other countries like Azerbaijan, Qatar, Ukraine, and newly Poland. The drone can carry four. MAM-L, and, MAM-C, missiles and hit the target precisely and precisely through the built-in laser pointer. The drones are produced with a local contribution of 93%, and they are of great global interest in the aviation and defense sector.